In this video, I will show you how to build and run C and C++ files using Visual Studio Code. So the first step is to download and install MinGW. Then we will see how to install some C and C++ extensions into Visual Studio Code. So let's start with the first step and let's download and install MinGW W64. Now let's go to this first link, then let's click on the downloads link, and here in this page we have to click on this link, MinGWW64 builds. Now let's click on this link. Now we need to save this install, so I will save it on the desktop. So this is the installer of MinGW, I will just run it. In this window I have to click next. Then in this window I will just modify the architecture and I will select this value. Then let's click next. Here we can install MinGW at this location but I prefer to install it directly on the C drive so I will remove program files from the path. Then let's click next. Now the installation finished successfully, so let's click on next and let's click on finish. Now it is necessary to add the path of min GW to the system environment variable so we can use it directly. So I have to go to the location where min GW is installed, it is on the C drive. Then I have to open this folder, then this, then the binary folder, and I need to copy this path and to add it to the system environment variable. So let's do this. Let's click on advanced system settings, then in this window let's click on environment variables. Then let's find the path variable which is this one and let's edit it. So at the beginning of this path I will just paste the path that I copied and of course I need to add a semicolon. Now let's click on OK, OK, OK again and let's close this window. Now let's open Visual Studio Code. So let's close this welcome page and also we need to install the C and C++ extension. So let's click on this button and here let's type C C++. So we need to install this extension. It is from Microsoft, so we have to install it. So this plugin allows us to have syntax highlighting, smart code completion, and error checking. So it has been installed. So we can close this and we can hide the list of extensions. Now let's create a new folder for our C++ file, so I will just uh, click on open folder, then on the desktop I will create a new folder that I will call CPP project 1. So I have to select this folder and to click on this button. So now I need to create a new C++ file, so I have to click on this button and the C++ file I will just call it main.cpp. So inside this file I will just make a copy of a source code that I prepared which is this one. I will save it, then I need to go to terminal, then I have to click on run build task. So here I will have a list of C++ building tools that I can use. So for C files I can use GCC but for C++ files I can use either CPP or G++. So I will select this one. So the file has been built successfully. Now I need to run it. So to run this C++ file I will just open the terminal and here I have just to provide the name of the executable file, which is main.exe.
and as you can see this is the output but for the moment I don't have here the run option and also I don't have the run button so if you want to use these options it is necessary to install a new extension that is called code runner so this is it I will just install it so it has been installed let's close this and let's hide the extensions now if I make a right click I will obtain this option run code so I can use it but as you can see here the output of this source code is shown in the output tab so it is better to show this output in the terminal so to do this it is necessary to go to file then uh, preferences then settings and here we have to click on extensions and then we have to find uh, run code configuration which is this one and then we have to scroll down till finding run in terminal so run in terminal we have to check it so this is run in terminal we have to check this box and let's close this page now if I make a right click and run I will obtain the output in the terminal tab so this is the output also I can use this button to run my uh, source code and as you can see this is the output so this is all for this video thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to the channel